so hello everyone welcome to my channel so today in this video I am going to explain you one of my interview question which I face in the interview and in, at ahead okay so here uh, they ask me to find out the total number of matches played by each team and the total number of matches owned by them okay so let's start with the implementation and how we can just uh, execute it so in the first sale I'm trying to create a data set uh, this is the something random data I have created okay so now if you can see we have the team 1 team 2 and the winner so now they are more interested in the output with the team name suppose if I give you an example they are interested in like uh, team name okay so I can put it as uh, output that like uh, suppose the team is uh, INDIA India then sorry if the team is India then how many matches they played okay matches matches played so let's count it like uh, India played at the first India played three matches here as a team one and yeah India only played a three matches as a team one so total matches played by India is three and own matches so how much uh, or how many they own are uh, so let's assume like this or out of this three India won all the three matches okay so here also they are expecting the three so in this way they are more interested in the output which is should be in a tabular format so yes let's start with this yeah but yes before that there may be multiple methods to implement that so I am going to use some one with the help of uh, union and doing the aggregated in the one go okay so let's start so here I am trying to create one data frame okay which contains the two field team and winner okay so while creating what I am doing is I am trying to select the two fields okay team one and the winner where I am trying to give the alias of the team one to team and the TA here while performing the union I am giving as a team two to team okay and I am considering the winner as well so post that also I am trying to add one extra field with the flag where it is nothing but the winner flag okay so here what I am trying to check is once this data is created then if the team whatever the team name is is equals to the winner name then it should have the one so means that is the particular team is one so that's why I am assigning the winner flag as one otherwise it's a zero okay hope you understand so let me execute uh, okay so it may be I miss to import something so let me add from PySpar dot SQL sorry I can import spicepark dot sql dot functions as f and let me execute yes so it's done let me execute it again yes so now based on this if you can see the output now we have the team all the team is assigning as a team okay then winners and uh, winner flag so here the India won so that's why it's one here England one that's why it's one here maybe South Africa and New Zealand here team is not matching with the inner so that's why it, may, it shows that uh, New Zealand is won so if you can just go down here if you can see here yeah, or somehow the same it will work okay so yes now we have the team name winner list and winner flag as well so based on that now just to calculate the how many matches they played we can perform the group by on the teams okay then we can just check the count okay count of a star or count of something to just consider as a total matches and then we can take the sum of the winner flag where also the group by is the team so accordingly we can get our result so as I mentioned I am performing the group by on the team post that I am performing the aggregated of uh, count star and giving alias as a total matches played and then again winner flag where 
where I'm trying to take a sum of winner flag and alias as a total matches one. Let me execute this. <coughs> so yes, now if you can see, we have all the required result for Team India. They played the three matches and total one is three. Similarly for England, they played three and the total matches one is one and for other. So let's validate it for something. So let's validate it for Australia. Okay. Australia played the three matches and one is only one. Okay. So let me go to above section where we have a data. Okay. Now for Australia, let's find get it out. So for Australia, they play one. They played one match as a team one, which is where the owner is Australia. Okay. And then again they played two matches as a team two, and both are lost. Once again India and once again a Pakistan. So yeah, accordingly we are getting the correct result where Australia played a three match one, two, and three. And Australia won one match against England. So yes, we are getting the correct result. Hope you understand. And yeah, thanks for watching. Just like, subscribe to my channel. And thanks for your support. Thank you.